How's it going everybody? Welcome back and today I'm going to show you guys why your VPN may not be hiding your real location. Now a VPN may not hide your location for a few reasons. First, the VPN you use might have an IP leak that reveals your real location. Secondly, websites use cookies, browser fingerprinting, and browsers geolocation API to track you. And a VPN cannot hide your location completely if these methods are used. And of course, there are also IPv4, IPv6 leaks, DNS leaks, and possible WebRTC leaks that could be going on that give away your real location. Another reason why your VPN may not be hiding your relocation is because you could be using the split tunneling feature and the split tunneling feature, let's say if it's enabled to only uh, use a specific uh, application, it means that the VPN will only be enabled for that specific application and not all of your device revealing your location. Now, many websites use cookies either for functionality or tracking and cookies can hold up information about your identity, location and previously visited websites. Unfortunately, a VPN cannot block cookies as they are files that are downloaded inside a VPN tunnel. So even with your IP changed, they still may reveal the information about where you are. Some websites inject third party cookies that can track you across the Internet. These are mostly used by advertisers that can determine your approximate location. Another tracking technique is called browser fingerprinting, and it uses your browser's parameters to partially identify you and your approximate location. Now, your browser geolocation is used as well because your location may be revealed by your browser's GPS functionality. Some websites ask permission to use your browser's geolocation API to let them know where you are. A VPN cannot protect from that as all the coordinates are sent over the VPN inside the encrypted tunnel. So you should set browser location permissions manually as a VPN has no control over that. So how do you hide your location using a VPN? First of all, you need a proper VPN, which is why I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. You've got Express, Northern, Surfshark. And as you can tell here, just for demonstration purposes, I'm using the Express VPN Netherlands server. And when I try to look up my IP address, it shows as if I'm in the Netherlands. So, so far, there's no evidence of uh, my real IP address. I went ahead and did a DNS leak test and nothing in the extended DNS leak test suggested my real location. And of course you want to cut off tracking cookies. What I would recommend in this case is that uh, using incognito mode actually will help you cut off all the cookies. Uh, so incognito mode is definitely a great way uh, to delete all the cookies after you close your browser. And, um, you want to also disable your geolocation on your browser. Uh, so you just want to go to settings if you're on uh, Chrome, for example. And it's the same thing for all the other uh, browsers. Just go to the settings and you should find it somewhere in the privacy and security controls here. You want to go to site settings and right here you want to go down to location and simply select do not allow sites to see your location or you can set it to sites can ask for your location so you know when using a vpn your location might not be hidden all the time and this might happen because your vpn might leak your ip address this is why i've selected three of the best vpns that you can get which of course have been independently audited and proven as some of the most solid vpns out there they have strict no locks policies you have the necessary security features that make sure that you don't get any of your information leaked, such as a kill switch, DNS leak blocking, IPv4 and IPv6, WebRTC leak blocking. So, you know, these VPNs are super secure. You can definitely test them out for 30 days risk free, thanks to the 30 day money back guarantee. And if you would like to get a refund, you can get it in case you're not satisfied. Besides that, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policies, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. Comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.